track, I would definitely choose road. You just can't be being outside and outdoors. Also, on the road, every day is different, whereas on the track, it's pretty much the same every day. So, to keep fit during lockdown, my training's been pretty much normal, so we're lucky enough to still be able to train outside on the roads. However, I've been definitely doing more time on the turbo and I've been really enjoying leading the Team Breeze workout. The biggest goal at the moment is just to come out of lockdown fit and ready to race. With so much uncertainty around racing, it's really hard to set a big goal. So instead, to keep my motivation, I try to set smaller, like weekly or daily goals and they can be anything from completing my stretches like every day or trying a new recipe. My favourite cycling memory has to be winning Junior National Champs in 2018. It was something I had my focus on for a while and it, so it was really special to be able to pull it off. If I wasn't a full time cyclist I'd have probably pursued a career in another sport, for example like long distance running, anywhere where you can be outside and in the fresh air. I'd hate the thought of having to sit behind a desk all day long. My cycling role model has to be Anne-Marie Van Leeuwen. Her dedication to the sport and her ability to excel at any terrain is something I really look up to. If I could guarantee achieving one thing in my career, it would have to be Olympic gold in the road race. I've been cycling since I was about three years old down at the famous Dot Tilbury Tuesday night league every summer down at the National Sports Centre on the Isle of Man. I tried various sports when I was about from like eight until 12, athletics, football, hockey, everything really. Um, but I always had a, a love for cycling and I started taking this cycling seriously around 16, going away and competing in the National Series rounds in Britain. One thing I really miss about cycling at the moment is riding with friends, always having someone to like push you that little bit further or just someone to chat to. Like the long rides are getting pretty lonely. <laughs> My favourite place to train on the road has to be my home, the Isle of Man. Nothing beats the views there, they're just stunning. And there's a perfect mix of hills and rolling roads and the weather makes it pretty grippy at times too, so it builds you up to be pretty strong cyclists. 